episode number four, The Temple of Doom. Our adventure continues in Commissioner Rowan's office at Scotland Yard. What? So it was Fogg that robbed my bank. Well, now, we are certain, but the teller identified him by this. The man certainly looks like him. My men, Inspector Dix and Constable Bully, are in pursuit. We'll need absolute proof. According to our reports, Fogg and his fellows should be arriving in Suez. Mm. Why, Sullivan? Rossets! Puss you, Fogg! Indeed, at this very moment, Willie Fogg and his companions, Rigadon and Tico, have just caught their first glimpse of the Suez Canal. Rigadon, I bet you don't know who built the Suez Canal, do you? Sure, it's, um... Hmm. Go on, Rigadon. Admit it. You don't know. His name was the Lesseps. He was a French. Of course, French engineers has a finest. Don't big in the head just because he was a Yukon, hmm. eh? It's quite amazing, really. The opening of the canal three years ago has proved to be a tremendous boom to travel and commerce. Avoiding the journey around the African continent has saved us 6,000 miles. 6,000? Imagine that! Monsieur Fogg, does that mean that only four years ago you could not go around the world in 80 days as we are going to do? Hmm. Quite right, Rigadon. But thanks to its construction, we are presently right on schedule. Sabotage is the most exhausting work. There's only a little more. Ah, oh, done it, last. Sometimes I wonder whether fog's worth it. Willie uh, Fogg, I'll get you, Fogg, if it's the last thing I do. Johnny, stay close to Mama. Lazy oaf, get out of bed. We're in the Suez. No. Get up, no. Oh. On the double. Is it lunch? No, 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 no. We're in Suez. Right, then I'll just wait till lunch, Inspector. <laughs> mm. All right, oh. dream on, Sleeping Beauty. But I'm going to the consulate without you to check on the arrest warrant for Fogg. What? Hey, Inspector, wait for me. <laughs> Oh, can't I even have a cup of coffee? Oh, uh, uh, bunny. Hey, Uncle Bros, how do you work? Please, stay inside. It is nothing serious. Stay inside, please. <laughs> <coughs> Monsieur Fogg, that has been some sort of accident. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Rigadon, we mustn't lose our heads. Calm down. What happened? I don't know, but the sailors told me that the ship will not be able to go out to sea for several days. Don't worry, Rigadon. It so happens that the ship is scheduled to remain here in Suez just long enough to reach... See, Johnny Fogg, the anchor, she's a disappear. Hmm. Oh, no. Well, in that case, I think the captain's the one we'd better talk to. Mr. Fogg, the problem isn't only uh -huh. with the anchor. There are other damages as well, and we must stay in port until uh -huh. we get them all squared away. I'm sure you understand. I see. You see, Captain, staying in Suez for even one extra day will put us behind schedule, and we will not make it around the world in 80 days. Nonsense, Rigadon. We'll make up the extra day, and now we're off to the consulate. Thank you, Captain. We'll attend to our passports right now. Yes, we're with you, sir. 101 percent. Willie Fogg and his friends will not be the first British visitors at the consulate today, for the British consul is presently entertaining two visitors from London. Constable Bully, and the persistent Inspector Dix, who is rapidly losing his patience. I'll show you the police sketch again. This is Willie Fogg, the prime suspect in the London robbery, and I have been sent to arrest him. I understand the situation, but there's nothing I can do unless the warrant arrives. Confounded, it's your duty to cooperate in such matters. It's not my fault the warrant hasn't arrived yet. <clears throat> mm. Good 
we finish this after lunch, sir? No, we could not. Please control yourself, Inspector Dixon. Inspector, I wonder if you would mind explaining something to me. It seems unlikely that a man would rob a bank wearing no disguise. He could too easily be identified. Perhaps you're after the wrong man. That's absurd. Look, sir, look who's coming. Mm. Mm. Why, it's fog. Oh. Mm -hmm. Come on, Polly. Polly! Wow. Good morning. My name's Willie Fogg. Good morning. I'm Consul Bartholomew Bottomley. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Hmm? We've come to have our passport stamped, Mr. Consul, to have a record of our Suez Passage. It would be a distinct honor, Mr. Fogg. Go ahead, Rigadon. You first. Mm-hmm. There. Ah. Well, well, well. So you're a Frenchman, are you? Yes, sir. Paris is my hometown. I see. Hmm. Thank you very much, sir. And I'm from hmm. Italia, sir. Mm. 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 All in order. There you are. And this one is mine, mm. Mr. Consul. I'm a citizen of Great Britain. Mm. I knew it the moment you walked in, sir. <coughs> Mr. Consul. Yes? Yeah? I've come because I know you're a lover of antiques. Please leave, my good man. I am not interested in your fake treasure. No, it isn't a fake. Please examine it. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Mm. Is it gold? Bellissimo. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? Oh! 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 Bring it on. Mm -hmm. oh! Don't worry, Inspector. Wow. Oh! Yeah. What about yeah. Monsieur? Ah, over here. Yeah. Up. Bring it on. Pay the owner. Oui, monsieur. This is for hey. my master's camel. Oh. Oh, my. And here is some more for mine. Ta-ta. Oh, you stupid nincompoop. Oh. <laughs> Hurry, bully. They're Aren't getting away. You're not going anywhere, Willie Fogg. You'll find it quite difficult traveling without your passport. <laughs> ah! I do believe we're catching up. Yes, I'm sure we'll catch him. I believe he'll have to rest his camel very soon. Indeed. Unlike horses, camels will refuse to go on when they're fatigued. Look over there, monsieur! Whoa! Oh. Since that is his camel, he must be hiding inside there. Let's have a look, shall we? Very well, sir. <coughs> Tico, you stay here and watch the cameras. Eh? Eh, so not to say, I want to come with you. It's so old. Hmm? I'm not gonna sit here by myself and do nothing. Blackguard we're looking for has chosen a most interesting place to hide, I must say. It appears that this temple was built by the Romans and then later was used by some ancient Egyptian religious sect of one kind or another. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Hmm. 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 Ah. 
to tell the tale. <laughs> I suppose you have dared to trespass into my sacred domain looking for this, but now you have broken the sacred law and you are doomed. You got a passport. Do you think I could see the cross? You must. If you want this passport so badly, come and get it. And if you won't come to me, I'll come to you. <laughs> Go ahead and try to run away, little coward. It won't do you any good, because I'll get you in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead and try to call your friends. Even they can't help you now. You are doomed. <laughs> the end has come. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> May I ask what you are doing in this temple? Get out of Where'd he go? Uh, 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 hey. Hey, I got it, Rigadon. I got it. I'm a seven a day. Hey. Huh? I'm glad you finally make it, Rigadon, but I'm no longer needing your help. What are you talking about? Well, I save a day all by myself. Why, that's my passport. How did you get it, Tico? Tell us what happened. I have a retrieved your passport, Mr. Fogg. Uh, but oh. a little of the credit must go to these two. Pardon me, but we were digging in another part of the temple when we heard voices and came to see what was going on. Digging here? In another part of the... Oh, I believe I understand. You two must be archaeologists. Am I right? You are correct. We are here as part of the National Germanic Expedition excavating these ruins. My name is Professor Frick. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. I am Professor Frick's twin brother. My name is Professor Frog. Delighted. My name is Willie Fogg. Glad to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is entirely ours, Herr Fogg. And we are glad you have recovered your passport and that you and your friends are safe. I am sorry to interrupt, Monsieur, but the cameras are gone. Mm -hmm. Hey? Look. Uh, Rigadon, I'm about to his told them. The fellow wants to dress up like the ghost. First he steal your passport, and now he's a steal of camels. <laughs> <laughs> they are quite safe, Herr Fogg, I assure you. We took the liberty of having our system take them to our camp, Herr Fogg. Yeah. If you gentlemen would be kind enough to follow us. Fine. We're extremely grateful to you. We're lost without those camels. Now, Fogg, would you consider sharing a glass of wine with my brother and me before you go? You think we could, sir? Now, of course. We cannot refuse such a generous invitation, Rigadon. Ah. Ha. Oh, it. Cheers, gentlemen. Ah. Ooh. Ah. 
going around the world in 80 days is a tremendous undertaking, Herr Fogg. A fantastic idea. Yeah? As you can imagine, Herr Fogg, this is the first we have heard of your journey. Or as you can see, we are isolated here. Please have a seat. It is a pleasure having company from the outside world, having been on these digs for over two years now. We are very glad you could spend some time with us. It is a great pleasure. I find your work fascinating, gentlemen. Oh. I say, isn't this cuneiform writing? That is correct. That is cuneiform script, Herr Fogg. It was inscribed 2,500 years ago. My word, 2,500 years, you say? Hey, Rigadon, I, wonder what the I can't tell them apart. Which is the freak, which is the frack? Hmm. This one, uh, uh, no, this uh, one, maybe, then again, I think uh, the one on the right uh, is, uh, no, the one on the, the, the uh, left is the uh, freak on the... Uh, uh, I am as confused as you are. I will show you now our rarest find after two years excavating here in Suez, a most unique piece. A golden scarab. If I'm not mistaken, it dates back to the reign of the Ptolemaic pharaohs. Uh, <laughs> simply astonishing. Absolutely fantastic, Herr Fogg. Your knowledge of archaeology is quite extensive. <laughs> uh, pardon me, Professor, but uh, can you tell me mm -hmm. what exactly this little gold ring is for? It is a sun clock of great antiquity. You mean it can tell the time? That's right, my little friend. And so it is quite old. It is constructed so ingeniously that its precision and accuracy have remained unimpaired down through the centuries. Let me show you how it works. Since this is October, we turn the hole to coincide with the O on the dial. <gasps> Next, we point the hole to the sun. Hey, look at that! The lights are hitting the five. Yes, it means it is five o'clock in the afternoon. You see? Mm, uh, quite a uh, That the clock is like no other. If you would like, my little friend, you are uh. welcome to take this as a souvenir of your visit. Thank hey. you, sir. I haven't needed one of these a long time. Uh, the only clock I have is uh, down here in my tummy, and it's always running fast. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you again for everything. It's been a most delightful... The best of luck on your journey around the world, Herr Fogg. You're most kind. Yeah. Arrivederci. I'm hoping you dig up what are you looking for. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, professors. Farewell. It was wonderful meeting you. Arrivederci, <laughs> Professor Freak the Frack. Thank you for the watch. Bye -bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. Take care. The three brave companions have resumed their journey at sunset, preferring to avoid the intense desert heat of the daylight hours. In the ensuing darkness, they are unaware of their near encounter with two other nocturnal travelers. <laughs> Tell you one thing, sir, I ain't ever going to the beach again. <laughs> Bandits, hit the dirt, hit the sand, go down, get down, bully. Willy Bob, uh, fully fog bully. No, no, never mind. Oh. Ah, will you get up, bully? Mm, 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 mm. Bully, you lazy, good for nothing layabout. I said, get up. Oh, I know, eh? Get down. Are just in time, monsieur. Oh, I say. I am terribly sorry, sir. Excuse me. Actually, I'm the one who must apologize. I'm sorry, please. After you. Oh, please go first, sir. I insist. Excuse me, Mr. Fogg, but we're gonna miss it a boat. We must board. Sir, hmm? I shall take advantage of your generosity. You're a gentleman of great courtesy. Hmm. At last. Thanks, for goodness. Stop! Stop! Uh, Stop! Stop! Wait! Come on, Bully! Stop! Ah. Those are two gonna be left behind! Wait. Bring it on, we'll need a rope. Come I'll get it at once, Monsieur. Wait! Come! And don't leave us stranded! Bully! Hold on to me and don't let go! Oh, yes, sir! Oh, hold on! 
I'm scared of water, sir. Now hurry and take hold. Grab on. <laughs> Willy Fogg, Tico, and Rigadon continue their exciting adventure as they head for India and the exotic city of Bombay.